put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version, and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Using Kane. Movie review. Jenny thought that she was happy, but with her marriage. But when her ex showed up, and you know, well, it it got something going, and she wondered if she really was happy with her husband. But then she reminds herself she does have the perfect husband. You know this excellent psychiatrist who is taking time off from his practice to spend more time with their daughter Amy. Although he has been getting a bit obsessive with it and it's almost like he's studying her. This is a psychological thriller and it is as several other De Palma films, one big homage to the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. It's really, it's not a <laughs> mystery, pun intended. You know, everyone knows that De Palma was, is a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock. Now, among this movie's strengths are De Palma's use of the camera, which, again, is something to always look out for in his movies. The... the there, there's a very small amount of slow motion, and it's... It's perfectly used, you know, it's... It is not on the height of the infamous slow motion sequence in the subway station from The Untouchables, but it is quite golden, nonetheless. And just the, yeah, the, the way everything's filmed, and the way suspense is built. This is an extremely intense and suspenseful film, and it actually one might almost say that it has slightly more suspense than it quite earns because some... I don't know, I, I suppose... well, I, I couldn't really talk too much about it without spoiling, but it's a very surprising film and it's a film that does leave you with some questions left unanswered and I suppose that's about what I'll say for that. The acting is quite good. Lithgow is perfectly cast in the lead. There's just something about him. He is just creepy. You know, I mean, I'm not sure I really noticed it before seeing him on Dexter. But in this, it is very much, he, he plays on that quite a bit. Although it is slightly unfortunate that you know, some, some of what he's asked to do comes off a little awkward. But still, there's, you know, his creepiness, excuse me, is where a lot of the, the suspense and, you know, tension comes from. The story is actually a little, maybe more than a little, it's, it's somewhat confusing. And, yeah, by, by the end of it, you're still going to be left wondering about some things that I'm not sure there are proper answers for. And 
at the end of the day, it might have a little bit more story than is really necessary. I don't know. I, it's it's, maybe it's just that it's it's quite taut. It's it's a very tight little. I mean, it doesn't even break ninety minutes, and there's a lot going on, really. But when when you really sit down and look at it, I I'm not sure it really goes beyond kind of. somewhat fluffy entertainment, you know, it, it isn't something that's going to make you reevaluate your life, and it's, it's one of the lighter, not in content, but in sort of, I don't know, it's, it's, as far as psychological thrillers go, it is one of the lighter ones, in that it just, yeah, it, it doesn't feel like this is something that would happen in real life, and it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't have the 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 kick of you know ones that take themselves more seriously and strive more purposefully towards being completely credible. The, I I would say this is mostly about just really. <laughs> getting the audience to the edge of their seat as early as possible in the film and keeping us there and it pretty well succeeds you know and and I'd say it's actually also one that you could stand to watch several times because there's just there is so much in there you know that heck you might even want to watch it a couple of times just to make sure you got everything that happened plot wise the characters aren't bad not like you know fantastic but just you know, certainly fine there wasn't really anything that i you know really had a problem with the score is great as actually somewhat hitchcockian as well and very very suspenseful it is a more violent and sort of direct film than what most of Hitchcock's work was, and you know, one might suggest that Hitchcock would have gone further had it not been for the more stringent standards of, you know, the years that he worked. But yeah, it it is a quite graphic film at times. Yeah, I suppose that's pretty well it. It's. Yeah, it, I'd recommend it at least once for any fan of Hitchcock and or De Palma. As well as Lithgow. Lithgow, whatever. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.